Lightly raced and oh so talented, Sarafina will be plenty of people's fancy for the 2011 Prix de Luc, the Triomphe. She's a triple Group 1 winner, she's landed six of her nine starts, and many believe she was an unlucky third behind Workforce in the Longchamp showpiece 12 months ago. Now she's back, her art prep was in the Prix Foix. Hello, it was oh so cheeky. Sarafina is still last as they enter the closing stages and St. Nicholas Abbey is in front. Nakayama Festa battling away well on the far side of him. Sarafina with the noseband trying to get through. Hirona Damore on the outside is holding her in slightly and has got the lead. Hirona Damore now to Sarafina who's coming through to join him. They head towards the line. Sarafina has won narrowly. Alain, you must have been delighted with Sarafina in the pre foix Yes, yes, she, she needs this race. She run, uh, she do what we, we ask. It was maybe too dangerous to pass between the two horses, but uh, she, she fight very well and she come back, uh, she has an easy race. She's obviously a four-year-old. Do you think she's stronger now than last year? I think she's more maniable. She was, uh, when she was three, she sometimes she can pull, she can be uh, difficult to ride. I know this year she looks better to, in his attitude. And when she was third behind Workforce in the arc, um, many people felt she was unlucky. Did, did you feel that? Sure, she, she touched a leader who is, uh, was stopped to, to push. And uh, if she, she passed last and she come back very, very strongly, we are sure she, if she don't have this incident, uh, she can uh, have a competition with the two horses uh, in front. And you've trained two Prix de l'Arc Triomphe winners, Zarkova and of course Dalakani. How would she compare class-wise with those? Is she, is she right up where with the very best? She has the level of the, of the best horses uh, I have trained. And uh, she has a, a very strong turn of foot, is his main quality. Christophe, were you pleased with Sarafina in the Prix Foix? Yes, of course. Uh, she ran very well that day. Uh, we wanted her to do uh, the less effort as possible. You know, it was a prep race. So um, she responded very well in the last furlong. She came uh, between the horses and uh, when she changed her leg, uh, she was very impressive at the end. So uh, it was the perfect race to, to prepare the, the arc. It was a, a daring ride to come between the horses. Was that because you were just trying to give her as easy a time as possible? Yes, that's right. And uh, in addition, the, at the bend, the Japanese horse we were in front of us uh, started to go a little bit wild. And uh, he, looked, uh, he looked very tired, so uh, I didn't want to go uh, around, around him. So uh, I keep going straight. And then uh, at the end, as we could see, uh, the, the horses finished very close. So uh, I had, to, um, I had to, to go through the horses and uh, uh, the, the filly was very nice because uh, she kept going, she was not scared and uh, she won well. Christophe, we know you're one of the top jockeys in France, but you haven't won a Prix de Luc, the Triomphe. How important is it for you to do so? Uh, of course, it's very important. It's uh, the race that uh, every jockey dream to to win, but uh, it's a very tough race. Uh, you need a very strong horse, but also a bit of luck. But uh, when we know that uh, Frankie de Tori uh, took uh, maybe uh, 15 years to win uh, the Derby, so I have uh, <laughs> I have a little bit of time to win the arc. But uh, this year I'm very lucky. I will ride the favorite. Uh, she's got a lot of abilities, and uh, of course it's a great chance for me to win the arc. So I hope. Uh, I hope it will be the day. She's been running in small fields yes. without many runners since, yes. since last year's arc. Yes. With a bigger field and a stronger pace, yes. that will suit her. Ice could be better for the filly because she can wait and she can uh, finish very strong. But uh, it depends on the, of the ground. But uh, she, she won on the very firm ground in St. Cloud and she, she ran very well in the arc. It was soft. She can go in all the ground is, uh, is important because we, we never know what kind of ground, ground we could have in, in Longchamp. It can change very quickly in two days or in one day. If you have rain or not rain, it could be, you can pass firm to sticky and uh, soft.
You, you say she goes in any condition. Any condition, she, she is what, okay. What would you like for her though? Oh, the good ground is the best, huh? not too firm, not too soft, but uh, if it is soft, she can uh, be competitive and if it is uh, firm, uh, the same. So she's obviously very exciting. Do you still feel she's getting better and better? I know her attitude is better, but is she, is ability, is she getting better in, in her ability? Yeah, sure, because we, we make the, the target of the, the arc from the beginning of the season. It's why she stopped in the, when the weather was very hot and uh, we just uh, have a rest to prepare the big, the big one. So you sound confident or as confident as you can be? Normally, if she has a normal race, she has a chance to be, uh, if nothing arrives from now to the race, she has a chance, uh, one of the chances of the, in the race. Are you worried that there could be a big field up to 25 runners? Is that a worry for a trainer? Yes, it is. <laughs> but uh, I think the, the big problem in, in the arc are the, the leader. The leader was stopped to, to push uh, the, pacemaker. Uh, the best maker at the end of the straight and they make a traffic jam in the behind. So w I think you will ask the pacemaker jockeys to, to keep riding exactly, to the finish. Exactly. It is unacceptable uh, to, to stop uh, when they finish the as a pacemaker and uh, they have to continue to go with the other horses and they stop, they stop the race and the uh, horses coming from behind have a very big traffic, bad traffic and the, in a big race like that you have to, uh, the, the winner have to be the best. Uh, it's a selection for the, for the thoroughbred and uh, we don't need to have a bad, uh, bad race. Do you feel 25 runners is too much? What? No, it's, if you have a horse with the ability to start and to get a good position, it could be a big advantage. And that uh, the filly, she can uh, take a place uh, easily. Christophe, we know that since 1990, 16 three-year-olds have won the arc, and it's hard for fillies as well. You're trying to win with a four-year-old, a, a filly four-year-old. You still think she can do it? Yes, I'm sure she can do it. Uh, she's a very strong filly, very classy filly. And uh, I mean, mare now. But, uh, you know, like in French language, there's a lot of exceptions. So even if the statistics uh, are not for us, I hope uh, we will do the contrary. So, uh, uh, no, she's, uh, I think she will be 100% fit for the race. We just need a bit of luck and then uh, we'll see what she can do. You've ridden against a lot of the leading French horses. You, you really feel that Sarafina can do it this year? Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, she's got a tremendous turn of foot and she's able to accelerate in, in any position. So uh, this is a big point, big positive point for, for us. Is her age a worry? Is there a big advantage for the three-year-olds? Sure, sure, well, because of weight. But uh, for the fillies it's different because uh, they have uh, one kilo and a half uh, low. In, uh, I think uh, maybe it's better for the fillies and the fillies and the, for the colt, uh, for four-year-olds and more. In conclusion, Zarkova was very, very good. And you believe this filly, she is at that level? Sure, 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 sure. No, it's a, it's a great feeling, I'm sure.